Throughout the story of One Piece, there are three main fighters on the Straw Hat crew that continues to grow, showcasing different powers throughout the story and can even say that Luffy has reached his final form and his apex in power, while Zoro still needs to obviously get his black blade but it's still predictable, while Sanji, well Sanji is a massive question mark right now. Before I get into this video though, it would be greatly appreciated if you guys would like and subscribe as I'm trying to reach 1k and I feel like it's a win-win for both of us. The more you guys like and subscribe, it gives me more incentive to obviously upload and create videos on your favourite stories, so yeah, it's a win-win for both of us. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you guys for too long, let's get back into the video. In Annie's lobby, we are first shown how Sanji can create fire by spinning around and creating friction to then light his leg on fire. And this logic will be used until Sanji just combusts into flames on Thriller Bark. <laughs> At the time we thought this was a gag, but when it comes to Fishman Island, we then see that Sanji can just light himself on fire just by thinking about his memories on Kawabaka Kingdom, and then later he then states that it's his passion that lights him on fire. And in Sabaody, this is very consistent as Sanji doesn't even really need to spin around in Sabaody, he just lights himself on fire to then fight the pacifista. So we can even say from back then we knew that it wasn't friction that was giving Sanji his flames. But from then we can already see that Sanji isn't normal since you shouldn't be exploding and you shouldn't be able to just create fire out of nothing. Through his family we get exposition and we do technically see that Sanji wasn't regular from the beginning. I know that he was born a human and everything but even then he obviously had fire resistance. And that was confirmed later by Oda, so yeah he may have been a regular human in terms of stats and everything but he always had fire resistance to some degree. And in my eyes that's a bit odd since you shouldn't have fire resistance if you're the one that's meant to turn invisible and I'm going to get into this later. But after receiving this raid suit, putting it on throughout Wano and obviously taking it off and realising that it's been modifying him, Sanji has to overcome the fact that he has become technically like his siblings although he hasn't at the moment or at in that moment he thought he was but once he got over it and let his passion take control this is what happened <laughs> combining all of his teachers into one Sanji's strongest current flame was birthed with the introduction of Ifrit Jambe and some more exposition from Oda, we can obviously tell that Sanji's flame is extremely important to his character and in my eyes and many others, this would mean that Sanji's growth isn't done yet. See when Sanji unlocked Diable Jambe, he only unlocks regular flames but when he went up to Ifrit Jambe, he unlocked the hottest flames there are which are blue flames but that doesn't mean Sanji is done as there's another level of flames that exist in mythology and we've obviously seen in other anime and manga. So, I'll play the clip here. And that is right, if you've watched Naruto, you know that these are the Amaterasu flames, also known as the Eternal Flames or the Everlasting Flames. In the story right now, there's a massive fixation on the mother flame and how it needs to be an eternal or everlasting flame to power things, and the only thing we know from mythology that is everlasting and is immortal basically is Amaterasu or the Black Flame. Uh, sorry guys, quick intermission here. Um, I know I keep saying Amaterasu instead of Kagatsuchi, so unless I'm referring to Naruto, assume that I'm saying Kagatsuchi whenever I say Amaterasu or Eternal Flame or Black Flame, since in mythology, it's actually Kagatsuchi that has the Eternal Flame or the Black Flame. But yeah, sorry to anybody that was probably aggravating out there getting it wrong over and over again. Also to add, Kagatsuchi is very like hell based and hell related and that would also fit into Sanji's theme already. So I think Kagatsuchi would be Sanji's next Diablo Jambe like name. To add to that, very early on, Oda does talk about Sanji's eyebrows and how energy is circular and how it needs to obviously spin. And a lot of people have said, oh, but his siblings share the exact same eyebrow, but they don't share the flame. And it's very coincidental that the one that shares the exact same eyebrows as Nika does can also create flames. And it's no secret that Vegapunk and Judge were trying to create gods and obviously Sanji's brothers and sisters were the byproducts of that. That's what I meant when I said Sanji having two different abilities and his siblings only having one does mean a lot. As his eyebrows are the same as Nika's and obviously he can create flames. But I feel like that's a whole another can of worms. I want to get back on track. But that is why I do believe that Sanji's final power up will be Black Flames as it shows how strong his passion is and how, even how strong his love is. I know you heard what I just said, love. I want to get into that. Throughout Egghead, Sanji's gone on and on about the power of love and what else would greatly represent it than getting an eternal flame? 
Him getting eternal flames would represent how eternal his passion is and how eternal his love is. Basically saying that it's stronger than anything out there. It also back up a statement that he made to Queen saying that his fire is stronger than any other fire out there since it's his passion. It can't compete. And to top it all off, his name is Black Lake Sanji so I mean look, it shouldn't be too far fetched. Plus, having the flame to eternally power anything would make him the biggest threat to the world government and that would also back up his statement backing Thriller Bark. But that's just another throw out there. I can make a video on how Sanji will become the world's dangerous man or something like that. A man most feared by the government or the marines. I've gone over all of my points. I'm going to do a massive recap on why I believe that Sanji's last power up should be Black Flames. With the fact that I believe Sanji's evolution as a fire isn't done, and I believe that him gaining Black Flames will mean many things aside from just another power up for him, I think that Sanji's Black Flames will be able to represent him as a whole. It will see perfectly encapsulate his name, it will perfectly encapsulate his passion, his love, and everything about his character. And it's no coincidence that Sanji's flame growing throughout the story should be a massive focal point of his character so the apex of his power should ultimately be him reaching the eternal flame. His passion is the strongest there is meaning his passion can create the strongest flame there is. Anyway that will be the end of this short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it since I enjoyed making it and thanks to one of my friends for giving me this idea. Put her up on screen you can show her some love since she did give me the idea. But yeah if you guys want any more videos on possible power-ups for even other straw hats like Usopp. I really want to talk on Usopp's future power-ups. So Brooke, Frankie, Nami, Luffy, if you believe Luffy can grow some more, and Zoro, then yeah, I don't mind making videos on them. But yeah, this is it. I'll see you guys next time.